Hello there, Jordy, uh, San Diego Makers Guild. Uh, we're, now that we've built the, the Sumo uh, Atticore Cardboard Sumo uh, Etiquette Robot, the next thing we're going to do is go uh, basically go in and how do we control this spot. Um, the robot itself is controlled through Wi-Fi. Uh, you can use iOS or Android devices, uh, a smartphone or an iPad. And let's go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and we'll show you how to get this connected so you can control it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the robot. And they normally twitch a little bit just starting up. And then you'll open your device up. You'll go into your settings. And then we'll go into Wi-Fi. And then see in the list here we have a robot with, a na with an animal name at the end of it. That's going to be your robot. So pick that one. Wait for the blue check mark to come up here. Then we close out of the Wi-Fi. Come into a browser. <coughs> And you'll notice on this one, we um, it was already set up to come to the website, but 192.168.4.1. A lot of the devices, you'll get this kind of a message on the front of it. Uh, on the Android devices, you'll have to turn on your rotation so that you can actually rotate the tablet. And then you'll see it connect. And then basically what you do is you have a joystick controller here, which allows you to turn the robot. The connection between the robot and the tablet or the device is a Wi-Fi connection, but it's a direct Wi-Fi between the two devices. So you don't have to have any other wireless infrastructure, no routers, none, none of that. It's just a direct connection. Um, uh, it uh, doesn't require an app. Um, and it's just basically, the what you see here is basically um, on the actual uh, controller board for the robot. Uh, one other thing in here is if your robot is controlling, <clears throat> but it goes the wrong way, you have a button here that you can use to flip the controls. So you can go either way you want. Over here we have a slider. That slider, if you look at the different pin positions on the controller board, DP6 is this slider. You can hook a servo to that, you can hook a brushless wireless motor controller on there so you have like a bladed weapon it, there's a lot of options it's just in there so that we can add weapons and different things to the robot later on okay and that's basically how we get connected